Welcome back fans and friends for this upcoming video. I have a green light. So this is actually uh, the Great Outdoor series, series two. I didn't know there was a Great Outdoor series, but uh, what they've done basically is grab a bunch of their other vehicles and we'll see that very soon. 14 plus 164, a limited edition. So it'll hopefully have a sticker or a printout on the bottom. 1979 14L. Ford LTD, Country Squire, a minivan, sorry, not minivan, station wagon. Based on this car, this is the 1983 Ford LTD uh, from the Greenlight Hollywood series. As we know, it was okay done. Like I said, they should have had the uh, opening hood like the Torino, but it never went that way. So it's basically an expensive, accurately done Hot Wheels, which was kind of a letdown with a hole drilled in the roof or glue, that little siren thing glued on for a car that had 10 seconds in the movie. I mean, here we are. So we're just gonna take a look at the underside of the car and see how identical, not identical it is. Uh, other than that, the main distinguishing feature between this and their country estates, Black Band and everything else, station wagon. I have quite a few station wagon. I have like four or five of them. This one's I think gonna be six. I have two satellites, the Vista Cruiser, uh, the Safari, Grand Safari from the Pontiac, and a bunch of Audis and uh, Mercedes from obviously Hot Wheels and not Green Light. So, is it a favorite of mine? Not really. I mean, I do like them. Uh, so, obviously, the great outdoors, what they've done is they've taken, instead of caravanning like in the UK where you pull the trailer wherever you want to go, or I guess a trailer park, you what you're doing is mounting the entire tent, which we'll be doing in this video, onto the back of that car. There are two holes we can see drilled into the roof to facilitate the placement of those pins. We will be seeing where the ladder going. Uh, and so interestingly, uh, these vehicles, they do have a provision there for a trailer hitch. So if you do have the hitch and toes, like I've done the Siesta, I should have grabbed one of the um, other station wagons I have because the other station wagons come with a trailer hitch. This one does not. So it's just that kind of silliness where they've done. Uh, as we can see, the matching interior to the exterior. The window lines are done accurately, at least on this left side. All the wheels appear to be okay. Uh, everything else, like I said, looks extremely similar, if a little bit of half a generation earlier than that vehicle over there. To cut myself off, we go to the back of it, Great Outdoors. There's their social media stuff, Green Light, obviously, Series 2. Saw this one. I did not see this one. Obviously, this one is here. I saw this one there. I saw that one, and I did not see this one. So, obviously, they're telling you to collect the whole thing. Uh, did I see Goodyear on these tires? I did not. White Walls, Ford, obviously, GM, Jeep, and Dodge, which are both Chrysler products, and Volkswagens there, and obviously all the same stuff from the front, where it's made. 139 day of last year, and the normal 14562 WB. And is there anything else? No, just to open it and get it out of the packaging. And then come slightly, do a slight comparison, not a serious comparison to that LTD in the background, because this vehicle is based off that vehicle so when they cancelled one they cancelled both like i said it's obviously a half generation earlier so it comes with the standard green light interior insert not interior insert and there's a sticker here to keep that thing from flying out uh i will have to gingerly remove it to keep it from damaging it because obviously the cars are die-cast, the add-ons don't have to be. So just keep that in mind when you're raccooning these things open. And the ladder, interestingly, is the hollow type. There, obviously, it's a ladder, right? You have to be able to put your feet in there. And then the last thing I'm taking out is the station wagon itself. So I don't... Uh, It actually doesn't quite fit. And there's no indent there for the roof rack, so it makes it kind of weird. And the plastic holder for the ladder uh, is kind of awkwardly on the bottom. You can see the pin there, and that pin goes into that hole. So there is no travel configuration for this thing. You just have it like this, then like that, and gravity does the rest. And there you have it. So I don't have the... Uh, 
There's no door on that tent too, but you assume the middle there is where it folds up. The gate opens. I didn't see that earlier. I will cover the car quickly afterwards. This one appears to be a little bit stuck, so I will have to take a look at that afterward. Like I said, it's a pin system, so it'll come out really easy. There's the gas cap, country square written on the side, and so everything else is pretty much covered. Uh, what is keeping this thing from opening? And you can say, okay, so we'll just start with it. It's wood paneling, not actual wood paneling. It's fiberglass covering the metal surfaces because wood is very expensive. It rots and it does other unpleasant things. There's the door handle. So I thought these vehicles, some of them, when they were made, obviously not this, this is a toy. But the handle there is because the whole thing swung out. It could open like this or it could open as one unit. So this one, I don't want to break it, but we can see sort of a gap there. That gap is preventing it because it's too high now from opening. And you can also see the floor underneath the floorboard. So that is sort of, and that there, the little tab in the middle, I guess is what's keeping it from opening. There's a little bit of a failure there on Greenlight's part. The here is shaved right off. So a bit of a manufacturing defect. I mean, you don't really need to open the, uh, and you can plainly see it too. It's not like they fail just a little bit. You can see kind of, the whole thing there is not filed down properly. You can see the tabs for the uh, side of the plastic. It is not one uniform piece, so I don't know if that's a cost-cutting measure. Uh, the wheels, I think they have to be addressed. They're, they're the back ones, look how loose the front ones are, and look how loose the back ones are, so they'll have to be addressed. Uh, GL146 number, 2018, so this is a re-release. And it says 1979 Ford LTD Country Square, which is exactly what it says on the package. So everything here is accurate. They've done that stupid thing where they printed the limited edition number 3263. Uh, white on silver, which makes it increasingly difficult to read. A little bit of a metal issue with the stamping. Bumper's not quite finished. Uh, right here you can see a couple of issues there. But nothing shows up. So more or less, everything here is clean, nicely done, no rear mirrors, doors, ha door handles painted on nicely, and accurate lines for the most part. I don't see any mispaints. paints. All the wheels, this one is okay. I'd say this is like a 95%. It's at least round and not oblong as we've seen in the past, so the wheels more or less are good enough. There's Country Squire, as I pointed out earlier, the gas cap. And then obviously they put forward there. So the major issue with this car was uh, this little thing here. And the front bumper not being quite complete. Uh, everything else appears to be fine. That's like I said, it has a special trailer hitch. It's not the same as... No, it is the same. I have one that fell out of a station wagon, the Vista Cruiser. I think the Vista Cruiser is my favorite station wagon. But uh, this one has the advantage. I don't know why they put this roof rack here, if they're going to put those two holes. But... Uh, it's not my decision. Just quickly the roll test and it's, it flies down the highway. So now we're just going to do a quick comparison. The station wagon is slightly longer, although just be a bear. Oh no, they're the same length. They appear to be the exact same. No, it is a little bit longer. No, yeah, a little bit longer. There you go. Uh, bumper, everything else appears to be identical. You can see there, even the windshield, the dashboard, everything else. Obviously, the back of the car is not the same because it is not the same car. Uh, doors appear to be extremely similar. Uh, even the placement of the gas cap is, is the same. I think the wheel, oh, wheels are the same, just a different type of wheel used, the rims and everything else. Underneath the car... Uh, where is the GL146? So, it is a different GL number, so it is not exactly the same. You can see there, there's two uh, things here that are not here. Suspension appears to be similar, but the rear layout <coughs> towards the end of the car is different. Everything else from this move forward is the same. Uh, the LTD has the GL number of 199. So it is not the 148 of this one. So they are in fact different stampings. What was the year stamping on this? 2020. So this is this thing here is two years newer. Yeah, there you go. 146 compared to 199.
So they are near, but they are not exactly identical. You are getting a slightly different vehicle, which is not bad. If you like a slightly different vehicle, that's where you get it. Uh, not the LTD, you can get any slightly different vehicle. But if you're wondering, are they based off of it? They are extremely similar. There's the underside quickly before I bring this video to a close. Like I said, they include the roof rack and then it kind of gets in the way. The only major defect I saw with this car was the weird uh, burrs uh, and uh, other slight manufacturing defect. Other than that, everything else appeared to have gone smoothly. If you like sleeping on the roof of your car as a conscientious choice, this is your vehicle. The uh, Silverado S10 or the C10, whatever it is, had the uh, tent in the bed. So, uh, is this a safer option? Maybe. I don't know. Uh, large animals are going to climb this ladder. But I will stop laughing. I will end this video. It is the one vehicle I decided to get, the Country Squire 1979. This is Tumblr from Toronto. Thanks for watching, and till the next one.